It's that simple. Three deep breaths can help you see more clearly. Can help you take a step back from the situation you're in. From moment of stress, from moment of confusion. Maybe even to get to hear that inner voice again. As you saw, I breathe in through my nose, deeply, I hold my breath for a second or two, and then I breathe out fully through my mouth, and then I hold my breath again for a second or two, and then I repeat. And of course, when you breathe in, you can expand your belly, so you push the air down, which basically means the air goes down, and the energy goes down to your belly to the second chakra, for those who know the chakras. And from there, you start to create, because second chakra is creation energy. This is the first kind of meditation I did, and I would do it for two or three minutes. That's how I started. That was what I took away from a course of, I don't know how many weeks, of yoga and meditation. And my teacher was angry at me after six months that that was the only thing I was doing because I was not doing it as she had taught me, taught us. But I was the only one from the whole group of 15 people or so who went back to lead a normal life. All the others were still unable to pick up their lives. And this was a training, a course for people who had a burnout. And of course, it was not the only reason I was out of my burnout. But I had picked up my life and I started to do this. And the others were still going in circles. And they had their reasons for that. I'm not judging them. But what at first made me angry and I later realized, like, thank you, this is a good lesson. Was that the teacher was proud of them because they had been practicing as she had taught. And she was angry at me for not have done that. But we all had shared where we stood. And I had shared that I was back to work and was being more relaxed and I had less stress in my life and I was really getting happy, picking up life again, starting to live again. And this is why when I teach, I teach people how to do things, preferably in different ways. And then I always tell them, try it and then fine tune it to your unique needs. Because in the end, it needs to work for you. That's why when you try to copy a successful person, you most likely will fail. Those who succeed after watching or learning from a successful person are the ones who find their own unique way of doing the thing they're doing. Even if for an outsider may look the same, it needs to be your way, otherwise you are faking it. And by being fake, you will attract only fake people and your whole life becomes one big lie. And eventually that will make us shrink on the inside. And when somebody starts to shrink, you know, when you feel shitty, you cannot create, you're not happy, you cannot breathe. So your business or whatever it is that you're, you are trying to improve will collapse. So I would say, Let's try this together, three deep breaths, and then go on with your day, or repeat, or write down what you would like to change in your life, or contact me if you are interested in knowing more and you have something specific you want to work on, and I'll be linking the video, you'll probably see it up here at the end of this video, where 
I talk about self-confidence and how to gain that. Let's do the breathing now. So first we breathe in through our noses, we hold our breath for a second or two, and then we breathe out through our mouths, hold our breath again for a second or two, and we repeat. And the breathing is a long, calm, deep breathing. 